Right on, guys. I wanted to say thank you to everybody who's subscribed to the channel, and I really appreciate the support. It keeps me going, pushes me forward every day. I wake up and I think about doing this. It's my passion, and I love doing it. Um, that being said, in this video, I'm just going to kind of create a track, maybe just an eight bar loop. And um, it's probably going to be messy and everything, but I get to see something get done on the MPC anyway. I'm going to incorporate some audio tracks and uh, maybe some acapella drums, you know, some ch 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 and stuff. And then um, let's see what else I'm going to do. I'm going to plug my guitar into my grandmother Moog and uh or moog and uh, see what kind of sounds i can get out of it use it as an effects pedal and then plug in the bass guitar kind of lay down some tracks i'm not going to stretch this out into a whole song but uh i just want to lay down the basic idea of what comes out anyway so i appreciate you guys and um yeah here we go i'll get started let's do it Hey, what's good, guys? I'm just waking up here. I don't really know what happened. I was recording, and then I passed out on the desk. And I don't have a clock or windows down here, so I don't know what time it is. But before I actually go find out what's going on uh, with today or whatever happened, I know it's real quiet, so it's got to be super early. Uh, I'm just going to make out a song. Sometimes it's better to actually throw down your ideas in the morning or I don't know <laughs> I guess it's morning I'm gonna make a song damn it and I'm gonna leave this on here so we can kind of see I got a couple views on here none of them really make sense to me but hopefully they help you guys out a little bit um one main thing that I wanted to go over was I was messing with Ableton and it is pretty dope, man. Yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with Ableton. I like it. Uh, but uh, for, you know, the MPC uh, users, I mean, you get it all right here in your software. Um, utilize your software. You can, you can get a lot done. So my thing to compare it to Ableton would be like your main mode here, how everything comes up in, in little blocks. You know what I'm saying? It comes up in little... You don't see the, I, I like this view is all I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to knock nothing, but channel mixer. I like to look at the channel mixer whenever I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? It, it makes sense to me. So on my MPC, let me see here. I just like to load up a bunch of just random stuff because I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna make man so I get my acoustic kit and load up some instruments that bass sounds good little guitar some strings that sounds cool. We won't make it too busy, okay? This, I might need to go to sleep. Um, okay, check this out. Get the bank. Blah, 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 blah. But I wish it would just stay on this screen. You know what I'm saying? I want it to stay like that. But anyway, I'm going to go on here in the MPC. And um, I'm going to switch the camera so you guys can actually see what I'm doing and how it prints up on the uh, on the screen. Cool. I hope everybody's having a good one and hopefully hopefully this song comes out good. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go 8 bars 120. Hit record and What happened? Okay. I thought I was going four bars, sorry. I'm gonna go 
track two. Just load in one of the uh, key tracks I got here. Put that. It's really low, so you won't be able to hear it. I'll play it up higher and knock it for you. I'm gonna undo that and redo it. For the sake of the video, it'll do. Track three. I wish that the software would actually stay here. You know what I'm saying? While I was doing this, because it's not showing you anything. I'll have to figure a way around that. Steel guitar here. We're going to do that. here and then try to add some live guitar or keyboard and see what we can do and then we'll arrange it into a song all right so what I did in here I'm um, went ahead and armed a audio track I'm going in through my mixer into inputs three and four and what I did differently is I uh, I routed my guitar just straight plug into the back of my Moog grandmother and using that as an effects processor for my guitar. So this should be pretty cool. So I'm using the grandmother Moog to lay down this guitar track. See what happens.
I kind of dig that. I'm going to kind of scroll through some sounds, kind of move the knobs around on this and see what kind of noises I can get out of here real quick. Interesting, actually. So I might have got a little curious and plug my bass guitar into the Moog and see what I can do. Here we go, another track. something else, maybe a keyboard and see what we can do. Alright, so I found a cool little sound on the grandmother, so check us out.
think I found something else with this a little reverb thingy. I'm gonna put some hi hats in with my voice. Quick like that, and I think 